And this evening, the White House is referencing new projections that are eye opening. It's important information that we're sharing tonight. It is helping all of us understand how this situation is expected to unfold over the coming days. Yeah, researchers say there could be 100 to 240,000 deaths from the pandemic, even if current social distancing guidelines are maintained. Reporter Joe Bruno looks at what the Carolinas could see and the resources that we might be short on. During the news conference today, the White House referenced models by the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation at the University of Washington. This is tough news to report. The models paint a bleak outlook for North and South Carolina. According to the data, North Carolina will hit peak resource use on April 23rd. At that time, it's projected we will have a shortage of 862 inpatient beds and 625 ICU beds. The state is also projected to have a shortage of 954 ventilators. April 23rd is also when North Carolina is expected to hit its peak of daily deaths. The numbers suggest 80 COVID-19 deaths that day. Between now and August 4th, 2,537 North Carolinians are projected to die from COVID-19. South Carolina's outlook is a little better. The Palmetto State is expected to hit its peak resource use on April 26th. The data doesn't show an inpatient bed shortage, but it does show a shortage of 58 ICU beds and 269 ventilators. The research suggests South Carolina will hit its peak of daily deaths in 25 days with 30 deaths that day. Between now and August 4th, the models predict a total of 1,034 COVID-19 deaths in SC. The numbers, as you can imagine, are changing as more data comes in. Governor Roy Cooper has activated 180 members of the National Guard, and one of their roles will be engineering assessment in case any alternative hospital facilities need to be built. Back to you.